In this video, we're going to discuss the billing portion of the console as well as how to set up a budget with an alert. Let's preview some of this information in our repo. So while I will demonstrate in this video some hands-on uh, um, knowledge on how to do this within the console, there are useful links within our repo as well. So if you need further resources, you can find those there. I'm now on the home page of the console. You can see that I've got some recently visited services here. Right below that, by default, is cost and usage info. I can get to the billing portion of my console a couple different ways. I can search for billing, or I can just click on go to AWS cost management right here from that home page. Now from here, I can go ahead and click on budgets in the left-hand menu. And now we're gonna walk through how to set up a budget. For this course, we're gonna suggest that you set a budget at $100. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create budget. And we can do cost budget, usage, savings plan budget, or reservation budget. We're gonna stay with cost budget. I'm gonna give it a name. And we'll say it's a monthly budget. And we'll say the fixed amount is $100. And we'll put this budget on top of all services at this time. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. You can see that there's a preview over here of a threshold. I don't necessarily need to see the preview at this time. And now here I can say whether or not I want to set an alert threshold. So let's add some thresholds. So our first alert, we're gonna say when we hit 50% of that spend of the budgeted amount, and then I can be triggered for that alert on a couple of different uh, parameters. One is actual spend and one is forecasted spend. To be most preventative within your alerting, I tend to choose forecasted. That means if I'm on par to hit that 50% spend, then I will be alerted. So then you go ahead and put your alert uh, email and uh, contacts in there. You can also configure SNS or chatbot alerts, but we're going to stay with email. I can then add an additional threshold. At this time, we'll do 75% of the forecasted amount. Forecasted, again, means I'm going to be alerted before that actual spend happens. And again, you can put in your email and I'll add an additional alert threshold at 90%. Okay, go ahead and hit next. And then there's just, uh, again, a review of uh, all of these uh, um, alerts. And then you can also attach budget actions should that need to happen. I'll go ahead and create a budget. And so now you can see this is the name of our budget. Here's where we're at. And then uh, used amount, forecast amount, current versus budgeted, forecasted versus budgeted. And so you can see here for this other budget that I previously created, um, I've got my forecasted and those have been exceeded so that it has fired on alert. 